spoke about the Greymon and Garamond's PC, which was so freaking awesome to make, and you guys showed so much love, thank you! And now, it's finally time to talk about all the Omega Mon forms, and that's gonna be so much fun since they all are a mix of the Garamond species and Greymon species Mega forms, you know? So, without further ado, let's get into it! <laughs> To start this off, we're gonna start with the first ever Joker S Digimon, that is Omega Mon, a Holy Knight Digimon born from the fusion of the Virus Busters, War Greymon, and Metal Garumon. And due to the power wills of everyone who wished for good and who is one of the Roll Knights. As a Digimon that combines the special qualities of the two, it is a multi type warrior capable of fully demonstrating those abilities in any given situation. It is equipped with a sword and shield on its War Greymon shaped left arm, for which the Digicord on it says All Delete, and a cane and missiles on its Metal Garumon shaped right arm. Also, Omega Man has a combined symbol of the crest of courage and friendship on the chest, which looks so freaking awesome. I almost want to get it tattooed, to be honest. The kip on his back is automatically deployed when dodging an opponent's attack or when it is flying. Like Omnishaman, upon one behind Bisto, the legendary digital shit possesses the power of Omega in Force. The Omega in Force, short for Omega Game Force, and sometimes called Omega Force. It is an ultimate force that was acquired by Omniman. Aka Omega Mon and inherited by Omega Mon X. He allows Omega Mon X to instantaneously read ahead in battle and respond accordingly, making it technically impossible to be defeated. And also draws out and rises combat sense and potential to their utmost limits by means of the X and T body. No matter the circumstances, Omega Mon also bestowed the Omega in Force on Omni Shop Mon, who shine gold because its whole body is clad in its power. Omni Shotmon is able to draw the Omega in Force into a Nora and shoot it at the opponent, blowing away even the moral of those who witness it. So, due to the X antibody on Omega Man X, other Digimon are unable to defeat Omega Man. This is because he acquired the Omega Man in Force. As I said before, it is an ability that drives out and raises Omega Man's combat sense and potential under any some contenses to their utmost limits. Also, it never loses as far as network security is concerned. Its special move all daily from its Grey Sword. Anything that comes in contact with the edge of the Grey Sun while all the is invoked or not cut, but erase. This Digimon is the fusion of Metal Garumon X and War Greymon X. Now we have a mini Omega Mon that is based on the NX Edge line of the action figures of the Digimons that looks so freaking awesome. And then later on, we got Omega Mon NX as a DLC for Hacker's Memory, which is so cool because his special attacks are the same, but the animation for them is so sick. Now to Omega Mon Zord. Omega Mon Zord is a Holy Knight Digimon, the fusion of Black War Greymon and Black Metal Garumon. Covering the qualities of both, this Digimon is a flexible fighter. In recent years, it was discovered that if the secretion Black Digitron is mixed with an Omega Mon when it is in the process of fusion, it will be temporarily born as a Black Holy Knight. It displays a further increase in power, beginning with the power on both of its arms. Normally on its War Greymon shaped left arm, the Digicode says all delete, right? But on Zord is Termination, which makes it so much darker with that, yo. Next up, we got Omega Mon Zord D, which first appeared in Digimon World Next Order, and I became such a fan of this guy, so I'm so excited to talk about it with you guys right now. But his name is Omega Mon Zord D, but that actually means it's Omega Mon Zord Defeat. This one is a form of Omega Mon Zord that was ejected with a virus program by someone and turned into a berserker. The rampant virus program, a leisuring vaccine program within his body clash with each other, causing it to become unstable, and its one body constitutes a rampage and tire without ever recovering. The Garu Kanan is actually fractured and his grey sword is broken, although he can project a red laser sword on it and he wears a black cape. The dish gold on its grey sword reads Terminate. Shorted from Omega Mon Zord Terminate due to the broken form. How awesome is that? It's a broken Digimon, but oh, love him! Now to Omega Mon Alter S, a new version of Omega Mon, which was created from the subspecies of War Greymon, Blitz Greymon, and the subspecies of Metal Garumon, that is Crest Garurumon. He has the multi type abilities of both Digimon, and though they are different individuals, its train is on the pair with Omega Mon. And now, we are moving on to Omega Mon Alter B. This is part 4, the coolest out there. So, 
the blight is transcration that really makes it by unknown entity cause Omega Man Alter S to change it to this black form. So it's really similar to Omega Man Zoro and Omega Man Zoro D in some ways, you know? Although its power is high night while well, it is in this form, it comes at the price of losing its sense of self, leaving it in a berserk state. And you know, I really hope to see this guy in the future Digimon games, cause he only appeared in Digimon World Next Order as a major part of the series, which was so good and yo, as a final boss, this is one of by far the coolest battle I've ever done, yo. So if you haven't played Next Order, I will highly recommend to play it because this game is so good from start to finish and I really want to play it again, so I'm definitely going to very soon uh, on Twitch. And a little fun fact for you guys, if you don't know, well, I have a Nomegamon Alter B tattoo on work on my arm right now. Here's a little preview. It's actually coming pretty nice together. I'm almost done with it, so I'm so hyped to have it done soon enough so I can make a video about it guys and explain to you why I got him and all that stuff that's gonna be crazy so stay tuned for that and now to the last Omega Mon that is Omega Mon Merciful Mode which is the fusion partner of the chosen children and first at Burn Digimon Adventure of Future that was crazy to see him for the first time for sure this one is an Omega Mon with white wings resembling an angel and what is crazy is that this is the first Omega Mon without a cape but you know he got those nice you know, or a white wing as you can see. It's transform figure brought up by Sadness and Resolve. Future lines of a pale blue light similar to that of a falling tears covering his body. Omega Mon Greysword has also been transformed into a cat to the light first on Blade that looks so fantastic. And this Digimon was actually inspired by Kamen Rider and Kai Kader for many parts of his body. The wings, which were designed to be similar to Scars, were inspired by Kamen Rider as well. And a fun fact about Omega Mon Merciful Mode, guys, that he was designed by Kenji Watanabe, right? And he actually turned down the offer at first because he didn't want more Omega Mon variants, but you know. Later on, he decided to change his mind and design that amazing Merciful Mode for us, you know what I mean? And actually, originally it was supposed to be a Golden Omega Mon. Imagine how crazy that would have been to have an Omega Mon, but gold. So, you know, I feel like maybe in the future we'll have another Omega Mon that's gonna be gold. We never know, right? That would be so sick! So yeah! That was all the Omega Mon forms, and it's crazy to think that we have so many forms of that Digimon, but... I love them all, and they are always dope to see, and to be honest with you guys, I would love to see more variant Omega Mon in the future, definitely the golden Omega Mon, you know, that would be so sick. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that sexy like button, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe for more Digimon content, you know what I mean, we got some cool heat content coming out your way very soon, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, peace out, and have an amazing Gucci sexy day, you know it.